guys, the Eternal V21 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In the last part, I have finished up Piazza Village. But in this part, we're gonna go around here in Delfino Plaza and actually finish the one of the coin mission, plus the bonus shine sprite that we didn't get, and get all the blue coins that are around here. Alright, so getting started around here, we do have a lot of blue coins to collect, but uh, what I'm gonna get is about 10 coins. I'm gonna go down right here in the sewer and actually uh, search for 10 coins, because I needed to get the next shine. Alright, so moving on, I'm just going to have to go around here. These big gaps right here will give us a lot of coins. But uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, but I don't want to take a lot of stuff. Okay, so we got uh, 12 coins, which of course the maximum is 10, but uh, 2 extra coins will do. Alright, so I'm going to try to get out of here. I'm going to go right through the sewer I went through. Oh, wait a minute, what am I doing? I can actually go the other way. That'll actually make it easier to actually get to the guy. Alright. So I'll, just, I'll go up here. Whoa, it shot me out of the sky. Okay, whatever. Anyway, you talk to this Pianta right here and they'll uh, say, oh, Can I take you to the airstrip? Just, it's only 10 coins. Just say, it's time to push off and head out. Don't expect any seas, Shanties, for a lot. They are, whatever. Anyway, he's saying we could go back to uh, the Delfino airstrip. Yes, we haven't been here in about 25 videos. We only been here since the first part, so it's kind of good that we actually have to come back here. So, uh, uh, basically, this is also a red coin mission, so uh, you're gonna have to get the turbo nozzle to actually get through this. All right, so uh, we gotta press on this big breakfast thing. Press the red coins for turbo nozzle, and then we zoom off to get the red coins. And of course, it's actually uh, in the uh, easy spot. It's one line, one line. And like I said in uh, uh Piazza Village, I thought it this is I thought that would be the last right coin mission, but no, this is the re last right coin mission. And of course it's so easy, but you can't actually get it in one take yet, because look at this, I'm going all jerky and stuff, and uh, I got that one very lucky. Alright, so there's one down there, I'm gonna grab it and ah, oh, dang it, I knew it, I missed it, I missed it. I'm going down there to get it again. And there we go, that makes sense. But I gotta say, this is an easy spot to actually get coins. Really easy. Right, so, I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna jump. And actually move around. I gotta go in a big line. Of course, all these little misses around here. And I got the last red coin! Yeah! And it's at the same spot where I actually got the first shine sprite. And, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I gotta watch out for those midgets. Okay, I do wanna get some more coins anyway. Ow, okay. I can't even ram them when I'm in turbo mode. Okay, gotta get out of the way, get out of the way. Ah! Oh, you know what? That's it. I'm just gonna grab the shine sprite and get out of here. And, ah, I totally missed my turbo power. Oh well, we just grabbed the shine sprite, and now we can actually move on with some more shine sprites around here. A cool thing about Delfino Plaza and the Delfino Airstrip, after you uh, get a shine sprite, you get to keep all the coins that you have collected. Yes! We have now, we still have all the coins that we have from the Delfino Aerosmith. We can go back there as many times as we want because we have a lot of money. But it's actually an easy way to get a, a, a 100 coin mission. Plus, there is a one blue coin I want to get around here before I can actually move on. I do need the turbo nozzle for this because uh, I do want to get some more coins. So don't press on that button because I don't want to get that time for right now. Okay. Just go around here and try to get all the coins that you can try to get. Easiest 100 coin mission in the game. Super easy. Keep your coins, get a few more, and there, you got a lot. But right now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go around here because I wanna get started with the blue coins, okay? Uh, do, to spray that and you get the blue coin. And of course, I'm gonna uh, narrate through this because, uh, yeah, I'm gonna commentate through this because I do have uh, all the tips. Because these, uh, getting these blue coins are actually really easy, so, uh, and it's not that hard to miss. So, there's no speed camming for this, uh, except for hard parts to actually get a blue coin. But whatever, we grab our strike sprites, let's get back to Delfino Plaza. <laughs> now getting these uh, blue coins around here in Delfino Plaza is actually pretty easy. Uh, the first one I'm going to try to get is, you know what, I'll just start right here. This, uh, this, uh, corresponding X graffiti right here, and this one right over there. And of course, it's way close to each other, so all I have to do is just have to slide on my belly in the water, and then, boom, I made it to the coin. Make sure it doesn't disappear. There we go. 
And you might be thinking my coin count is at 32 right now because I, as uh, stupid as me, I didn't actually uh, bring all my coins from Pianta Village into uh, the shop. But don't worry, after I get all the blue coins, I'll show you the shop and see what they are, okay? See what happens when every time we get blue coins. Well, of course, I'm getting the last of it to make this short. It gets up to 240. Alright, so uh, those two are easy. Now we're gonna go right here, which is right at the southeastern bell tower, or right here in the jail cell, I call it. And there, I just. That's an easy red uh, blue coin. For that blue coin, you can actually, uh, it makes it easy, uh, even if you are, uh, start playing it, you can actually just get it right away. Alright, next up is, uh, Flaming Pianta. Yeah, and of course, yeah, he has mushrooms on his back and he's on fire, so all you have to do is just have to spray him down and you get a free blue coin. Uh, just watch out for those flaming mushrooms because it's actually destroy you. And of course, just like uh, every Pianta I rescue, he always has to have that same silly voice. Of course. <laughs> Alright, so we got that blue coin out of the way. But now here's one that is actually really difficult. Uh, actually, no. No, I would do something really difficult, but I would talk to her right now, but I'm gonna get this blue coin right here. Yep, there's M graffitis around here, and I'm gonna spray them all. The last of the M graffitis are gonna be finished. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, I'm gonna actually uh, go up here and. Uh, Hmm, there's Pianta that we have to talk to, but, uh, I'll get to that later. Let me get to, uh, this M Graffiti right here. Yep, there's an M Graffiti right here, and I'm gonna actually spray it. And, of course, three coin after I just spray the crate. There we go, we got that taken care of. So, uh, should we go back, uh, mm, nah. Alright. You know what? Uh, ow, boy. Okay, so... Anyway, uh, there's some blue birds around here, and I'm gonna spray them all, guys, uh, to tow my way through, and I'm gonna spray away, spray away, spray away, and, uh, whoa, I actually raped it! That never happened to me when I faced a blue bird. Uh, yeah, in the other levels, I actually had trouble trying to spray a blue bird. But, I just got it in one shot! Oh my god! That was just pure luck, okay, there was a blue bird around here, and, oh man, I scared it away. Okay, now where is it? Okay, person. Oh, uh, there you are. Now I'll just have to spray you down. Just spray you down. And there we go. There we go. We got that taken care of. So, moving on. Let's just get started with talking to those uh, female piazzas because they want to get something. They want to get something in those baskets. So, I know it's going to be tricky, but I'm going to try to get this done. Alright, so, um... Let's see, uh, which one should I choose? Oh, uh, wait, 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 where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I freaking going? Alright, let's just, uh, talk to her first. Okay, she, uh, let's see what she wants. Okay, hello, uh, you wanna work for me a little bit? Of course, uh, I love to eat green soup, uh, fruit from pineapples. Okay, she wants me to bring three pineapples. Okay, bring me three Put it in that basket. Okay, that's gonna be tricky. Alright, I'm gonna cut it out right now. Frankly, I'm only gonna show you because of one. Because if you get uh, one fruit in here, yeah, of course, it's actually tough. I actually got two of them in here, so to get the next pineapple in, yep, there it is. You just drop it in there. Get all three of them, and of course, this is what she gets. Thanks, Tina. She gives you a blue coin. And of course, that could be easy. Okay, so these can be a little bit monotonous, but uh, the next one is actually truly easy because I can actually show you in one video. Okay, this this uh, female Pianto, she wanted to get some bananas. Yeah, she wants to get bananas. She wants to get a little potassium in here. And of course, the color of her skin actually depends on uh, what fruit you want. Like, it's kind of like with Yoshi when he eats a fruit. Like, with bananas, Yoshi turns pink. Uh, with pineapple, Yoshi turns orange. Well, it's kind of simple, but, oh, wait, this Pianta is purple, uh, and Yoshi turns purple from a durian, oh, wait, 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 before I can talk, uh, get that in there, get that in there, get that in there, oh, come on, I'm pressing B, I'm pressing B, get in the freaking fruit basket, thank you. Anyway, uh, I'm thinking about that Pianta, it's, uh, that is not the actually right uh, skin color that Yoshi turns in when he gets, uh, uh, when he turns in, when he gets, when he eats his, uh, banana, I meant. Uh, I can't speak today. Anyway, uh, Yoshi's skin color turns purple when he actually, uh, eats a durian. Uh, yeah, you remember those durians, those tough fruits that refuse to actually get touched. 
Oh uh, yeah, yeah, you have to wear. And of course, I've been thinking, yeah, you should wear gloves when you actually uh, touch a durian. Yeah, because it's a really spiky fruit. <laughs> Tougher than nails, I mean. Well, I would say durians are tough, but I don't say they're that tough. Well, whatever. Okay, so we got the last banana right here, and now I'm gonna have to talk to this little bitch right here and say, "Thanks to you." Oh, uh, whatever. At least I do all your work, you silly girl. All right, so moving on. We are gonna do the hardest one I ever know. The hardest one I ever know. Okay, it's there. I made it. Okay, I thought I'll never make it. All right. So we got this female Pianta, and she really wants to get durian. Of course, durian. They are the hardest fruit to get. So uh, I think, yeah, this is gonna take a very, very long time. I don't know how long this will take, but uh, I think I might have to uh, do speed cam and actually speed things up. So um, yeah. So just grab a durian, and then I'll start off with the speed cam. Enjoy. After seven minutes of grabbing Dorian's, I finally gave it to her, and now she can finally give me that blue coin! God almighty! Yeah! That is how long it took me. Oh, boy. But, uh, I'm not satisfied. There's, there's one left. But, oh, oh, I didn't know it's that M graffiti right there, so, uh, okay. Luckily, I saw it. Luckily, I saw it. Okay, so I grabbed that. Okay, so we need about like seven more. No, 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 no. Okay, down there. Okay, I've been thinking. Is there a blue coin around here? I've been thinking. I okay, just have to go around in the sewers and actually find an opening. Oh, there's an opening. Okay, uh, I'm gonna check through every part of the sewer. Okay, nothing but coins here. Alright, what does this contain? 
Uh, nothing but coins. Okay, that's not the right spot. Where is that blue coin? Uh, okay, so, uh, wait. There it is! There it is! Okay, that's so simple. Alright, so now, let me just get back to the actual path, because I want to get to the island. This island right here is actually the easiest way to actually get some fruits for this, uh, uh, Piancic girl, uh, Piancic, uh, I don't know. I don't want to insult her anyway. What coconuts? Okay, coconuts. Well, for instance, this is a coconut tree. Just spray it, and coconuts come down. Just make sure they don't fall off. Or yeah, okay, so I think we landed up here. That was lucky. Okay, so or right, so you just have to drop it in the basket, just like uh, naturally. And now we're gonna have to do with the other ones. Okay, uh, gotta be careful. Well, no, 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 no. I, uh, I landed in the water. That makes it a little typical. They must, they always land in the water. Oh! Oh! This actually ended up quite nicely. I actually sprayed two and actually got all both of them down. I am totally done. Alright, that was the last fruit mission that I ever did. Okay, so, we got that blue coin and now we can actually move on. Okay, so I think I. Yeah, I'll meet you guys back out in the uh, jumping deposit. Okay, so now it's time to grab Yoshi and actually get some blue coins from him. Okay, so he wants a banana. Let's go get a banana. Yeah, let's get a bunch of bananas, I know. <laughs> well, Yoshi does need his potassium right here, so, uh, I'm thinking, uh, this is the only game that Yoshi ever uses fruit to actually, uh, act, uh, come out on the level. But I would say that for the, uh, other games, which, of course, that is, uh, because Yoshi actually uses it for power-ups, but, nah. I don't want to talk about it. Well, I wouldn't compare this to his Yoshi games, but whatever. Anyway, there's a couple of, uh, glowing pieces of fat around here, so, uh, this is why we need Yoshi. To actually clean things up. Okay, so, what I'm gonna do right here, we're gonna get the first one, which, of course, is always simple to actually never miss. Uh, remember that little house that is that all the way back there? That looks like a lighthouse right by the police station. Yep, there's fat around here. Yep, right there. Just spray it, one little drop, and then, there you go, there's a blue coin. Okay, so we need about, like, four more, then we can actually move on. Okay, just getting a little thing in the rep. Bounce. The flare jump, I don't really care. Okay, so, moving on. There's another one right on the other side, which, of course, it can be a little tricky to get there. Okay, so, we're gonna have to spin jump again. And I hope I can land it, land it, land it, land it, land No, I did not land it. There we go, now I landed it. Okay. Just thinking, uh... Well, I see it up there, I see it up there. There's one right up there. Okay, so, uh... All we have to do is just gonna have to spray that one as well. Yeah, just one drop and it'll go bye-bye. And there! Free blue coin for you! Alright, so, three left. Uh, okay, so it's time to go for a big search. Uh, okay, well... See what I can do when I can find the next one. Okay, just gonna bounce around. Just make sure that Yoshi doesn't fall in the water. Oh, great! He didn't fall in the water. Alright, so, let's go back on that coin hunt. Okay, now it's time to abandon Yoshi and actually get the next blue coin. Uh, the next blue coin I want to get is with the turbo nozzle. And, of course, this one's gonna be super easy. And, of course, it's a safe spot where I got about a lot of shards right there in Delfino Plaza. I'm going to use this, this turbo nozzle, I'm going to go with the turbo in the water, and all I have to do is just have to ram that gate right over there, which of course contains... <clears throat> which contains... A blue coin! There we go. Now, time for the search of the last two. I wonder where they could be. Stupid as I am, the last two blue coins are actually located underground. Wow, I am so stupid. Hell, yeah, anyway, I actually didn't remember that they were down here. So let's let's just try to get through here, okay? All I have to do is just have to go around here, grab this blue coin, and that makes the semi-final blue coin that is around here in Delfino Plaza. Okay, so all I have to do is just have to grab uh, the last one, and then we're home free, and then I can actually finally get through Corona Mountain. Okay, so all I have to do, jump up, and look at how high we are at. And I'll tell you, that it could be pretty cool. 
But right now, I am serious. I am very serious right now. I don't want to get too serious, but I really want to get the last coin. I want to get the last of the blue coins, the last of shine strikes, I want to beat the final boss, and beat the game. Okay? Anyway, so the last uh, blue coin is located around here. Yeah, you might be thinking, is this stupid? Well, I wouldn't say it's stupid, but it's actually a really clever spot to actually hide it. Well, wait a minute. I don't need to use that. Mm, maybe. Maybe if I could try to use this one. Okay. Wait a minute. It worked! I can use that one. Okay, there's a lot of blue coins we could define. There it is! There it is, the last blue coin of Delfino Plaza. There. Now it's time to turn in all my blue coins and actually get the final shine sprites that are around here. Okay, just gonna have to jump out. Now it's time to enter that little shop, which of course is part of the entrance of Rico Harbor. Which of course I have no idea why I'm talking about a previous level I went through, but I just want to get through this game right and blah, blah. I just want to get through this game as fast as possible. Alright, there's the entrance to Rico Harbor, and this is the shop, which of course brings out Tanookis! Yeah, live versions of the ones in Super Mario Bros. 3. Welcome, welcome. Ten coins for shine spray, and of course, uh, we get five shine spray because I have 50 blue coins. No refund. I don't care, because I want to get 118 shine sprites. Yeah, I got 118 shine sprites. Two more left to get in this entire game, okay? So, what are we gonna have to do right now? We have nothing else to do but go to Corona Mountain! Corona Mountain, our final stretch of the game. All we have to do is just have to get inside Corona Mountain, get all get all the blue coins there, beat the final boss, and beat the game. Like I already said that before. Anyway, I'm going to climb up here and, of course, take this to the entrance of Corona Mountain. I went in there before, but I'm going to go right here to actually go through it for realsies. So, next time we'll let's play Super Mario Sunshine. It's going to be the finale. We're going to go through Corona Mountain and beat the game. See you guys then.